All right, hey everybody. So this is a, some video footage I shot a while back, and basically we got a E13 wheel, E13 cassette. It's the got an XD driver. Uh, it's a nine small cog, and then a 46, I believe, as far as a large cog. And uh, long story short, the customer just didn't like the way that it uh, was functioning with his XT drivetrain. So we kind of did a reverse. Um, procedure of going from the XD driver to the back to the standard uh, Shimano type free hub uh, went with the 1146 cassette there so uh, basically this is going video is going to go over the process of doing all that so the E13 cassette there's kind of a two sections there you'll want to there's that little indicator there you'll take two chain whips and flip that back to the unlock position uh, from there, this lower end will just come off. Then you got a T25 uh, Torx, which will loosen up that little clamp. And from there, you kind of just got to wiggle it a little bit, work it off. But it's this one was a little tight fit, but it takes a little bit of wiggling, but that'll just uh, pop right off uh, from there. So it's a little different than the XD driver or the XD type cassettes that thread on, you know, similar to a SRAM or whatever. Uh, so from here, we're going to remove the uh, the axle to get get the free hub body off. So uh, on the drive side, there's a little 17 millimeter flats. On this side, there's 18 millimeter flats. But you can either just undo that thing, or you can, you know, in this case, I'm just kind of weaseling a little adjustable wrench there, and you can pop that little cap off. Um, so you can either just run the flats there you can set that in a vise just however it's the easiest for you to get it off but anyway that's the whole thing put together once you remove that off that axle will just push right through uh, so you know with the bearings and then the spacers and everything it kind of you can't over tighten it you want to just snug it down and then uh, as long as all the spacers in there you should be all good to go but Anyway, uh, so it was a little bit of confusion getting this out, uh, or not getting it out, but once it was out, as far as um, you basically got, there's a little spacer that goes in between in the middle. That's just the little dust cover that covers the XD driver end. And so there was two small thin spacers, steel spacers, and then this one aluminum spacer there. So uh, that's how it everything fit together with the XD driver um, I looked at a schematic of the uh, the new one and it wasn't super clear on the spacers and everything I mean obviously the, the outer dust cap was pretty easy to figure out and then the big aluminum black spacer was pretty much a given but the two I, I didn't know it, the little kit came with one uh, one thin spacer so um, I basically tried to put it together initially the same way as the other one, which we'll, we'll get to that in just a minute. But uh, yeah, so you can see that the outer dust capsule, it's a little bit bigger, there's a little more area to cover. Uh, so there wasn't, I pulled up a, what schematic I could find on this wheel, but it was, uh, wasn't really, uh, didn't really give me any didn't really show much. I uh, just showed the one little spacer and then just with everything how it was you can see that the paw there it's not quite engaging all the way into the into the teeth that are within the hub so I pulled pulled one out there um, tried that and so as you can see there's no I don't have the little dust the rubber seal on the outer edge of the free hub body yet so uh, once we got that in there and lined up you can see that we've got a little better purchase um, and that's got the one spacer. There's a little better purchase on the paws there, uh, so it seems like they set a little more flush. Um, so I was okay with that setup. So uh, yeah, just time to put the little top hat, the little rubber seal on there. And then I don't, you know I'm not sure if you noticed in the that schematic, it kind of showed it to put it on with the uh, the flat surface in and just didn't seem like it really lined up right like that and this is the the orientation that the other one was on um, kind of just fits into the hub there's 
kind of stair steps in as far as the hub shell there so this little rubber seal matched up better um, so I don't know I seem like there's a little logo on the outside edge of it as well so uh, yeah that's how I ran it. it looked you know again it looked like it was different in the in the little schematic there so really at that point it's pretty simple there's several other uh, hubs axle free hub bodies and things that are very similar to this so um, you know really at that point it's just a matter of screwing that end cap back on and um, yeah really we're good to go so uh, you know again there that little piece is pushed into the end I kind of did this a couple different ways just visually if you depending on what tools you have so again that would be an 18 millimeter if you just leave that off you can stick it in I've got my soft jaws here there's some flats there in the middle so that way it's pretty easy I just snug the the end cap down there so there it's all basically it's uh, tightening the cap on the other end but got that all good to go and uh, you know cassette just goes on like your it's all normal Shimano cassette uh, there's the little end cap piece there. I want to make sure that's back installed. And so we're basically good to go. Uh, I didn't really do much fine tuning other than this, but that was our, you know, just standard XT 11 speed. Um, so, yeah, basically did it. Made for a much smoother ride. So, hopefully, if you're doing a similar. Um, swap there going kind of backwards usually it's going from the standard Shimano to the XD driver but anyway yeah you can go either which way so that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time